name's Brogan. Lieutenant Brogan. For 20 years, I was with the NYPD. Now, well, let's just say I've transferred to another precinct. I'm waiting for a friend. Hey, looking good tonight, honey. Not on this planet, pal. Take a hike. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Lose the hair, sister. This ain't your night, pal. Hey, nice. Thanks. Like the palm tree. Yeah. He's right. You're looking good tonight. Thanks. Can I help you? Police! Hold it right there. I said freeze! Now put your hands up where I can see them. Walker, I've got him. Yeah, so the next thing I know, this gigantic humanoid has got me by the throat, hold me two feet off the ground. <laughs> Only two? Yeah. Rogan, we've got an officer down. East Parallel Road, the Taunt Nightclub. We're on it. 
Who's the officer, Fredo? Uh, not one of ours. She was with the 79th, working undercover. Uh, you better send some backup, Fredo. Crowd control could be a problem. Took and Cass were on their way, Lieutenant. Come on, Romek. I quit the streets. You know that. I'm a physical therapist. Yeah, and I'm the Duke of Danai. Why, thank you, Your Highness. Please. Man, I am so glad today is over with. Ah, uh, I hear you. Hey, Oren, Romek. Pretend we didn't hear him. I know you heard me. Hey, Sergeant Fredo. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. We only got half an hour left till the end of our shift. Then you better get moving. A peeper. I don't believe it. Believe it? Everyone else is on a homicide. Now get going. The lady sounded pretty upset. Uh... Hi, boys. Cuff me, lady. I'm all yours. I don't think that'll be necessary, sir. Okay. Where's Walker? He's at the bar. Lieutenant, how long is this gonna take? Is there some broad estimate you could give me? I'm trying to run a business. And I'm trying to run a murder investigation. Now, you get the hell away from me now. You Brogan? Yeah, I'm Lieutenant Brogan. I'm Lieutenant Walker. What kept you? I'm Officer Haldane. It's nice to meet you, too. Look, uh, I'm sorry about your partner. Oh, how sweet. And what a crock. All righty, now that we've gone through the introductions, why don't you show us the crime scene? He's really very clever, you know. First he traps her here, but then like an animal, he keeps moving, circling, stalking in a way. Then he kills her. You know this guy? Oh, yeah. You've seen him? I'll know when I do. It's his third strike this week. All dancers, all in the club district, same M.O. exactly. Yeah, we heard. Sounds like it might be a serial killer. Oh, nice work, officer. Now, you keep that up, and one day you might even make lieutenant, like us big boys. Uh, Jack, you want to go see what Jane had took her up to? Not really. Do it anyway. So where the hell were you when your partner was being murdered? Obviously, I didn't get here in time, okay? Uh-huh. I was on the wrong side of the dance floor, okay? I was out of position. Now, look, are you gonna assist me with this guy or not? I'm not assisting you in anything, Lieutenant. This is my case. The hell it is! Maybe you hadn't noticed it, but this club's in the 88th precinct. Oh, oh, right. And we should have cleared our operation with your people first. Is that it? Look, Brogan, sorry. Lieutenant Brogan. If you're so hung up on procedure, join the army. I'm looking for a murderer here, and now he's a cop killer. Hold it. Sorry, kiddo. Nice guy. Chloe Vincent. Well, we were at police academy together. Same class. Sorry, ladies, we're closed.
Walker! Did you see him? What? Who? Damn! I don't see no peeper. Probably wishful thinking on her part, you know what I'm saying? Thank goodness you're here. Uh, you, uh, reported a voyeur, Miss... Mrs. Croats. My husband's out of town. All right, come on out. Now, you wouldn't want us to come in there after you now, would you? I guess he would. Ah. <laughs> oh. I'll hold the light. Yeah, what a guy. sees the killer at the taunt. But before he can catch him, the so-called suspect disappears into thin air. Captain, uh, Walker's a loose cannon. You were there, too? Did you see anything? Just a jerk masquerading as a police lieutenant, sir. Haldane, the man just lost his partner. What's your excuse? Let's put it this way. If there was a suspect in the club, I didn't see him. Yeah, well, I did. And if you people would do your job, like checking the security recordings of the taunt, then you'd see him too. Well, as a matter of fact, Lieutenant, our RSA unit is reviewing the recordings right now. Yes, is there anything else you want to tell us about how to do our job? All right, that's enough. Your old professionals act like it. Now, Lieutenant, your captain tells me I can expect your full cooperation. Yeah. So what have you got? A possible lead. I've set a meeting for tomorrow. Captain. We've got the autopsy report on Chloe Vincent. You're gonna love this. Cause of death, non-found. Cause of death, non-found? I told you, it's exactly like the other two. Carson, how can that be? Well, sometimes it happens in elderly couples. One dies, a little later the other one goes too. No heart attack, no respiratory failure, no internal bleeding. They just lose the will to live. So what are you telling me? Lieutenant Walker's partner lost her will to live? I can believe that. Go home, gentlemen. Get a good night's rest. Tomorrow we'll be here soon enough. I can hardly wait. It is nice to see that I am not the only one around here who puts in long hours. Whatever makes you feel good, slow-mo. It was not a feeling, just an observation. Officer Castle, here is your hard copy of the bio you requested. Lieutenant Vero Walker. Thanks, slow-mo. Later. Lieutenant Walker worked at the 79th for 10 years, five years in homicide. Took a compulsory leave of absence last year for stress. Stress? Well, maybe that explains it. Walker's mind was really muddled when I read him at the club. Like a book where the letters kept changing. There was nothing you could have done about Chloe. I know. That's a problem. Hey, can you guys give me a ride home? When are you gonna get that burnout bucket of yours repaired? Why, you give up the pleasure of your company? Come on, then.
Vincent, an officer from the 79th Precinct, was killed earlier tonight at the Taunt, the new downtown hotspot. Late night news has learned that the circumstances surrounding Officer Vincent's death were strikingly similar to those of last week's victims, leaving little doubt that a serial killer is at large in Demeter City. Swell. Hi, and here you come in. Ah. You're up late. I couldn't sleep. Hungry? Da, I'll get some. Did you know Chloe Vincent? She was a classmate of Jane's. Get back in a minute. Sorry, fellas. Wish I could help, but you know the rules. All undocumented animals are destroyed. We just don't have the facilities. Thanks a lot, pal. I told you, Romek, there's nothing we can do. Come on, Oren. Where's your sense of humanity? <laughs> Hey, what the? Will you give me that? Come on, give me that. Hey, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. Hey, thanks. Well, if we can't take him someplace to have him put down, what are we going to do with him? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Patrick? Is that you? about never mind go back to bed what was all that about mom had a nightmare really what about never mind go back to bed uh, you okay I'm fine. oh he was so close he was, he was touching me who was i don't know someone something but i'm awful Somehow I had the feeling it's that guy who's been killing all those women. Aww. So Walker did see someone. Slomo? I have cross-linked with interplanetary. Species unidentified. No matches found. Broaden the search parameters. Yes, try everything. On world, off world, the last hundred years, the last two hundred years, whatever. Oh, 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 no, no. Sorry, Sloan. I just want to get this guy, you know. Match found. What? Your request was to scan all files within the last two hundred years. Match from ninety-eight years ago. Ninety-eight years? Are you kidding? Let me see the file. Urswellen, hair covered biped from Mila star system. Non-sentient. Odd. Come on, Sloma, we haven't got all day. Okay. Visual print scan Q lock. Now on screen. Not him, the guy from 98 years ago. That is him. There is no mistake. A string of mysterious homicides. All nearly a hundred years ago. All victims, young women. Suspect never apprehended. Last name Kamada, first name Anil. Anil Kamada? You've heard of him? Yeah, Mackie. What are you talking about? Anyone who was brought up in our star system has heard of Kamada. He's an urban legend. A kind of, you know, like a boogeyman. My sister used to threaten me with horrible stories about him. Oh, yes, but the boogeyman doesn't exist. This guy's for real. Then Kamada's back. 
So are you going to tell us who we're meeting, or is this just going to be your little secret? She's an informant. Maybe you've heard about him. They give the police information which helps with criminal cases. Really? And maybe you've heard about professional conduct. Now, you guys want to knock it off? I'm trying to land this thing in pea soup. I'm Walker. You Mag Serple? Uh-huh. You got something for us. Okay. I'm a club girl. Damocles, Otres, the hot tub, the taunt. I work them all. Yeah, I, I get the picture. What's your point? Your guy? The one you're looking for? I've seen him. Even talked to him. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? Oh, you know. Stuff. Things you'd like to know. Okay. What do you want? Well, I figure since I'm here doing something nice for you, maybe you should do something nice for me first, okay? <laughs> no, no. No, you play, then we pay. what he look like? Uh, it was dark, you know. I didn't really get a good look at him. Let's go. It's great, Walker. Got any more dynamite leads? Lieutenant, wait! Listen. I I'm kind of strapped. You couldn't spot me a couple of credits, could you? I'd make it worth your while. Get out of here. Brogan, we've come up with a positive ID on the killer. Well, at least something's going right today. What do you got, Castle? Change your mind, Lieutenant. Disappeared. Hold your position. I'm on my way. Walker, you... Walker! Walker! Damn it! Hell ain't stay put! Officer needs assistance. 1420 Jupiter Wharf. It's a scrap metal yard. Haldane? Haldane? Right here. Source, Mr. Personality. Yeah, you got me. Walker, Walker, what's your position? Uh, I don't know. I I'm next to some kind of tower. Oh. I tell you, this guy is giving me some kind of headache. All right, you stay put. We'll come to you. talking about. Walker, where the heck? What the hell's going on? He's gone.
It's weird. We go to meet Walker's informant and Kamada shows up. Yeah, maybe she knew more than we thought. Brogan, she didn't know squat. All the same, she's dead. Nobody set eyes on Emil Kamada for almost a century. At first, we thought we were dealing with a copycat killer, but according to Carson, it's the same guy. Or an exact clone. Kamada's back? Is this a joke? No, this is no joke, pal. He's for real. Officer Took is currently researching additional information regarding Kamada's origins. Oh, I love this job. we do know is that all four of the victims were killed in the club area, so we shall concentrate our efforts there. Now, there are 11 clubs situated along the east end of Parallel Road. The 79th Precinct will handle the shaded area and the 88th will take all the rest. Lieutenants Walker and Brogan will coordinate the operation from the taunt. Sergeant. All right, folks, here are your assignments. Orin and Romek, the hot tub. Tustic and Monrovia, the Damocles. Covina and Simeon, Otres. What about our furry friend? He'll be fine, relax. Nobody ever goes in that storage room. Oh, did you uh, find him anything to eat? Yeah, your dinner. What? It doesn't matter what your machines say, officer. It can't be him. Humor me, Mr. Perry. <sighs> All right. Ah. Ah. So let's see. Commander. Commander. Ah. Here we are. Let's see now. And so it came to be that the souls of the Mechie were lost and they were condemned to live out their lives in the bodies of others. You're losing me, Mr. Perry. Are you saying that a Mechie lives inside someone else? Precisely. It needs a, a, a host. It sort of hibernates in them without their knowledge. And eventually it kills the host, right? Uh, no, no. The, the host is the only one it can't kill. It, it needs a host to stay alive. So why does it have to kill at all? A Mechi needs life force to sustain it. When its supply runs out, it, it awakens to feed, to, to kill. And it carries on killing until it has taken on enough life force to resume its hibernation. Uh, of course, uh, you know this is all uh, purely academic. It says here that every host was wiped out during the Great Purge. They loaded them all on a ship and, and fired it into the suns. That was nearly a century ago. Yeah, well, they missed one. Look at it, Mr. Perry. It's Kamada. I know it, and you know it. Officer, there are no more Mechie. Tell that to the four girls he's killed in the last week. Life in the fast lane, now they? No sign of our boy, bro. But this place is jumping. How's Jane bearing up? She's fine. I'm watching her every move. <laughs> I'll bet you are. What else? Uh, when a mechie leaves to feed, its host experiences extreme pain. But it must stay close to its host at all times, even when feeding. The Mickey and its host were to be inextricably intertwined for life, like two beings with one soul. Two beings? Oh, great Simter. 
when I read Walker's mind at the taunt. Officer, there's more! Keep your mind on your work, officer. The night isn't over yet. Stay out of my face, Walker. I know my job. That was so degrading. Don't say anything. I know where you live. Look, I was just going to say that I appreciate what you're doing. Any one of us would do the same thing in your shoes. You're welcome to them. I don't understand how they can do it. Where's Walker? Uh, he's at the bar. You've got to get him out of there. Whoa, slow down, Tuck. What's the matter? There isn't time to explain. You've got to trust me. Kamada lives inside Walker. What? Kamada? Hold it right there! Give it up, Kamada. <laughs> well, come on, you know what you have to do. Shoot me! Walker, you don't want me to do that. Well, you'll never have a better excuse. Uh, come on, damn it, shoot! Walker, I can't! No, Walker! No! No! Oh, shut up! Hang in there, pal. Get away, give him some air! This is Haldane, we've got an officer down at the Todd Send Medical Assistance. I got him. He never got out of the ambulance. I was with him the whole time. What about Kamada? I don't know. He must have died inside Walker. All right, Lieutenant. Go home. You can file your report in the morning. Thanks, Captain. It's been a long night. So, if Walker dies, Kamada dies too? He needs Walker in order to survive. Don't tell us, Haldane. You need a ride home. Walker didn't make it. Brogan was with him in the ambulance when he died. Poor man. Officers took. Call on COM 9. Ah! Mr. Perry. Officer, uh, I'm glad I found you. I couldn't remember if it was the 84th or the, or the 48th. Yeah, well, or you the... found me. What's in your mind? Uh, Commander, I was trying to tell you when you left. Uh, when a Mechie's host dies, it doesn't guarantee that the Mechie dies too. Well, what are you saying? The Mechie can only survive without a host for a few seconds. So, if it senses that its host is dying, it immediately finds a new one. If there is anyone nearby. The hunt for the serial killer has ended today in the death of both the killer and, unfortunately, another policeman from the 79th Precinct, Lieutenant Vero Walker. No further details are available at this time. This is getting to be a habit. Hi. Hi. 
You okay? I just heard. I've been better. Are you hungry? Uh, yeah. I guess I am. Let me. No, uh, it's okay. I'll, I'll find something. Brogan, you've got to get out of there. Get away from your family. Kamada is not dead. He's with you now, Brogan. How the hell they know? Just get out of there now, and he's got to go with you. Patrick? One out of level one. Have slow mo meet me at the docking bay airlock. I don't like this, brother. That's an order, Haldane. I'm gonna get this monster one way or another. <laughs> Lieutenant Broken. You requested that I meet you here. That's right, Slomo. I want you to discharge your auxiliary power packs into my arm. Your request is in breach of safety regulations. I require authorization. I'm a lieutenant, Slomo. I authorize it. Duly loved, Lieutenant Brogan. I am obliged to advise you that such a charge may prove fatal to humans. Just do it! Yes, sir. Ready? Do it! <laughs> Oh. All right, let's give it three seconds. One with thousand, two with thousand, go! Slomo, scan your neural net for any new data. I am detecting an anomalous program in my primary bio sector. Correction, the program is now relocating. Delete it, Slomo, delete it now! Oh, no, oh, uh, oh, no, 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 oh, uh, uh, you can go. Program deleted. Come on! Clear. Nothing. Clear. Nothing. Clear. Yes! Broken. Come on! Come on! Did I, uh... Did I mention that I love this job? I checked with the 79th, and apparently about a month ago, Walker tried to prevent the suicide of a deep-sea sailor who was accused of murdering the rest of the crew. Well, that would explain how Kamada got into Walker's body in the first place. Uh, call me stupid, but... Ooh, don't tempt me. I still don't get exactly how this whole slow-mo thing worked. Well, slow-mo's neural net mimics a living organism, right? Right. So when Brogan died, Kamada needed another host. Slow-mo was the only one available. Kind of like hit the delete button and bye-bye bad guy. Yeah. Hmm. A delete button. <laughs> uh, not gonna work on me. I'm hitting escape. Later, guys. 
Hey, Haldane, don't you need a ride? No, got that bucket of bolts of mine gleaming again. Listen, Jack. Um... Oh, come on. Don't tell me you two are all spooked by this commodity thing. I didn't say that. OK. Well, if you two are coming, let's go. I bet the little guy's as happy as a slatworm in milk. Officers are on Andromic. My office, now. Did he say please? Uh-uh. Not good. <laughs> Captain? Uh, Captain, I... Uh, oh, Romek! Oh, oh. What the hell is that, sir? You mean you've never seen this animal before? Uh, no, sir, not us. Ah, no, that is a pity. This is Dr. Greaves of the Endangered Species Facility. Hi. How you doing? That swelling is the last of his kind. And the doctor was planning to give a substantial reward for his return. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Ah, well, mm. I suppose you'll just have to donate it to the uh, Retired Officers Fund instead, eh? <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> well, I hope that's the last time you decide to bring your work home with you. <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> He's gone for good. I don't know. I'm afraid he might come back in my dreams. Well, I, I can't guarantee you won't have nightmares again. Well, then, I guess you'll just have to figure out a way to keep me awake.